Hey YouTube, it's Simply YouTube here, and in front of me I have the iPhone 3G. Yeah, this thing. This is the second iPhone to be released, and it is ancient. It is not much faster than the first iPhone, and its software is limited to iOS 4.2.1. So yeah, you're not expecting much out of this thing. So what can you do with it? Well, one thing is to get iOS 7 on it. Look at that. Now this isn't the real iOS 7, of course, because that hardware... But software would kill this thing. So this is actually iOS 3.1.3, but with a couple of enhancements and, of course, a completely revamped theme. And it's really, really good. So here it is, iOS 3.1.3. And boy, it's actually pretty snappy. You can even see, you know, the animations are pretty smooth. Uh, you get the control panel, which actually functions. You see I'm turning on the Wi-Fi, uh, brightness, and volume, of course. So it's all very functional. Uh, what about the flashlight? Because there's no flash on the back of the iPhone 3. Well, it actually brightens the screen. And to a degree, this actually works pretty well. So that was a pretty genius uh, thought on them. Uh, all of the apps are pretty much revamped. And um, you even get Cydia pre-installed so that you don't have to um, jailbreak it. It's already done for you. And um, you can even get a video camera uh, for this. See right here, it redirects to a Cydia uh, application called Psycorder. I don't even think that's available anymore so that you can uh, record video on here. I'll bet very crappy, but it works. So anyway, enough talk. How do you get this? Well, you need a computer with iTunes. And all of the downloads are free uh, as of 2016. And you will, of course, need your uh, cable. So let's begin. You're going to want to plug your iPhone in here into your computer. I don't know why I'm highlighting this, because all com computers are pretty much different. And, of course, plug this into your iPhone. Now, keep in mind that this will delete all your data, as it is a complete restore. Um, but as long as you back it up to your computer and provided the fact that there's not much important stuff on there anyway, um, you can get iOS 7 running on here in no time. The other thing is that you can only run this on an iPhone 2G or 3G, not a 3GS or anything above there. Uh, that's actually unsupported. Or you can use an iPod Touch 1G or 2G. So you get a nice little variety of devices. You can probably pick one of these up on eBay for cheaps if you want to try doing this yourself. Um, so yeah, we're plugged in the computer. You will need to get iTunes. So that is a download that I'll include in the description. Pretty simple. You can go on Apple's website and get it yourself. Of course, if you're using a Mac already, you already have this, but you might need to update it. So the version I'm going to be using is 12.3.3 for Windows. So let's get into this. The website that we're going to go to to get the files is whitedoor.com with zeros instead of O's in the door. And it will redirect us to this page, which shows an iPhone 3G running iOS 7, like this one. So that's pretty cool. So up here in the bar, we're going to see all of the supported models minus the 3G. So we'll click on that. And you get a little explanation. So you can click on the unlocker version or the normal version. So you want to get the normal version if you have an iPhone that's unlocked. So that means it's not linked to AT&T or any of those other networks. You're off of that. Um, the unlocker is if you're still on that network, which is the one I chose because I still have the AT&T SIM card in here. And it won't activate because it's not on a plan. And I don't even know if Apple will activate the iPhone 3G anymore. So... Um, I got the unlocker version. It's probably safe to go that way, and if that one doesn't work, try the normal version. Uh, both are significantly small downloads, so it won't hurt. Alright, so now that we've got those files, assuming you do, we'll open it up. Um, I'm using uh, WinRAR. You might need to get that, or WinZip, or something around there uh, to unzip these files. I don't know if Windows has it, but I've been using WinRAR for so long, so I don't even know. So the two files that you're concerned about are Red Snow and iPhone Unlocker, the ISPW file, otherwise the iOS modded file. 
Uh, of course, if you have a Mac, you'll use these files up here, but I'm using a Windows. So the first thing you're going to open up is Red Snow. Make sure your phone's already connected, uh, plugged in, and I'm so sorry for that bright screen. We are going to put the iPhone 3 into Pwned DFU mode. So what is Pwned DFU mode? Well, it's pretty much where um, it's put into a special version of DFU mode where you can install custom iOS onto the uh, iPhone because otherwise iTunes would be like, you know, hell no, you ain't going to do that. So uh, extras and then Pwned DFU mode. All right, so to do this, you will need two hands. So watch as I try to find a comfortable way to place this iPhone without it tipping over. All right, that was pretty easy. So again, make sure you're plugged in. You're gonna... Oh my gosh. All right. Let's see, this is going to be a little harder than I expected. All right, so you're going to want to have one finger on the power button, one finger on the home button. All right, so to begin, hold the power button, turn it on, of course and then swipe to turn off. You want to make sure that your phone is off before beginning that. It shouldn't take too long. I'll come back when it's done. All right, that did take a little longer than expected, but I'm back and ready. So the iPhone is now off. We're going to put this into Pwn DFU mode. So make sure that you're in red snow while doing this so that it can put it into that mode. Okay, hold the power button for four seconds, or at least until it comes on. All right, now hold the home button maybe one or two seconds after the Apple logo comes on. All right, when it flashes off, you're going to let go of the power button after a second or two and keep on holding the home button. And uh, I'm pretty sure Windows computers will make a little chime. Let's see. There we go. You might have heard that. So there we go. Uh, the screen is now black, and Red Snow has put it into Pwn DFU mode for me. So now it will accept the custom iOS that was included with the white door package, and we can continue on. Now, if it says it didn't work, um, you can definitely retry. Probably won't take very long at all to redo. So here we are. All right, so the file that you're going to want to look at next is the white door file, which is the software itself. So... I'm just going to drag this to the side, and you want to drag this onto your desktop right there. So I already have it there. Now we're going to open up iTunes. There we go. This is a mobile error. It's okay. Okay, so it should say it is detected in iPhone or an iPod Touch in recovery mode and it must be restored before it can be used with iTunes. So, we're going to restore the iPhone. Again, this will delete your data. Uh, if you lose anything, I'm really sorry that happened, but I can't be held responsible um, for this happening. Uh, fair warning to you. All right, so, what you're going to want to do, if you're on a Windows computer, I believe you hit Shift. You hit Shift, or if you're on an Apple, I think you hit Command. So, either one of those files. Uh, keys, I mean. So I hit shift and click on restore iPhone at the same time, and it will let me choose the custom file. So I put mine on the desktop right here. So you want to click on this file and then click open. And I will not do this because I already have it installed. So what it should do is it should go through the process. It should say extracting software and preparing iPhone for restore. And a white screen should come on your iPhone and then if you did it correctly, the new Apple logo will come up, the iOS 7 completely white logo. Uh, if the logo comes up as the old-fashioned Apple logo, you know, like iOS 6 and before, I think that happened to me once and it still worked okay. So give it a chance before you think that something's wrong with it um, because it could just plain well be a little bug. Um, but anyway, yeah, once you see this logo, you should see the little uh, line going through, restoring it. And hopefully, afterwards, it will lead you straight into uh, iOS 7, at least the theme. And it looks beautiful. It works perfectly. Um, and I'll show you a couple more features as I'm talking. If it doesn't work properly, you may get a uh, plug into your computer to activate. And you might think, okay, I'll plug into iTunes, and it should activate the phone, right? 
Uh, no, it won't. It will actually say there is a problem with your iPhone because it doesn't recognize the software and it can't help you. You know, it could be a virus for all the computer knows, so it doesn't want to open it up. But um, to fix this, it's the actually the wrong version of White Door that you downloaded. So if you downloaded normal, try unlocker. If you download an unlocker, try normal. And hopefully you should get the iOS 7 screen like so. All right, so here we are. A couple of new features uh, that aren't even in the regular iOS 7 is the App Store. So since this is running iOS 3.1.3, um, you can't get iOS 7 apps on here. But the App Store is actually a custom variant where some cool person made a backup of all of the apps available. Crap ton of games, too, uh, for the iPhone uh, running iOS 3.1.3. So that was a really amazing uh, addition. And you can download all of your favorite classics. As you might have just heard there, um, quite laggy. This app is very slow at times. You hold the home button, and here we go. You get a Siri clone <laughs> called Sarah. And um, it works, uh, but my iPhone 3 mic is absolutely dreadful, so it'll probably say it can't get that. Yep, and you can see it didn't hear me right. So hopefully uh, Sarah works for you because that's it's a really nice addition to have on any iPhone, you know, that's old. And the apps work significantly well. Again, this is like iOS 3 uh, with a new skin and it works surprisingly well. Uh, the fundamental for the building this is that it needs to be as fast as iOS 3.1.3, and they managed to pull this off. So, huge props to the White Door team. I think I'm done for now. Uh, you can explore rest for yourself. It's a really, really amazing uh, theme for iOS. I will include links for White Door and iTunes in the description just in case. And I really appreciate you looking at this video. If you've liked it, please like it. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, leave them below. And subscribe for more content coming daily. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.